What's up, weirdos? I'm Kyle. And I'm Paul. Together, we are Pathos and Logos, coming back at you with a new episode of Soundcheck. Today's segment is Track to the Future, where we are discussing classic albums that influenced us, maybe even influenced you too. I don't know. We'll find out. Pauly, what classic album are we discussing today? Today, we are talking about the veritable juggernaut that is Sepultura's 1993 release, Chaos A.D. Oh, man. It's a good one, buddy. Juggernaut is a very good adjective to have used on this. What do you remember about this album? I remember, as compared to some previous Sepultura material, I was always into Sepultura ever since kind of getting into metal from that era. Mm -hmm. And uh, the groove thing, dude. This is where they started to kind of incorporate that groove vibe. Yeah, I agree. I've always considered this record to be kind of the progenitor of new metal. Because this record did hit before classic albums like Korn came out, or even Machine Head, which relied heavily on that down-tuned groove style, which if you really want to get down to the brass tacks, this record came out first. Interestingly enough, it was mixed by Andy Wallace, who also mixed Arise, their previous thrash masterpiece a classic in and of itself. Oh, yeah. And what other classic album did he also mix? Oh, I'm sorry. Was it Nirvana's Nevermind? I think it is. Something tells me Mr. Wallace isn't missing many meals. No, he can buy all the Skittles he wants. All of the Skittles? He could even mix those some bitches with Starbursts and just get diabetes instantly. Abomination. <laughs> just harness all of that sugar power. That's so... Another fun fact about this record is it's the first one that introduced Apollo Jr. on bass officially. Before that, Andres Kisser used to do bass in the studio all by himself. Apollo merely played bass live. I did not know that. Many did not know that. The more you know. The more you know. Well, do you want to find out other cool stuff about classic albums? Be sure to like and follow us on YouTube. Then like and subscribe to our Instagram or something like that. Check us out on Twitch, Twitter. Check us out on Twitch. Don't. Don't do any of that.